Editing your website should be easy. And with HubSpot Content Hub, it is totally easy. There's no more relying on developers for small changes to create new website pages from scratch. You can do that all yourself. You have complete control over your website as you should. And in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of different approaches to creating that editing experience, but ultimately showing you exactly how easy it is to create new pages, edit existing pages on HubSpot Content Hub. Let's dive in. So there are a couple of different ways to actually create this editing experience inside of HubSpot. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is actually how we create websites here at Blend and power our customers with a really intuitive, easy to edit experience on, uh, on HubSpot. And this really, combines editability with brand consistency, which enables our customers to create pages extremely quickly, but also retain them being entirely on brand and consistent. So when we dive into HubSpot here in website pages, I'm actually gonna show you our own website because you know we do it for ourselves and we do it for our customers. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to our themes here and select our blend theme. So what you can see here is you know HubSpot's um, showcase of uh, different themes that are pre-installed and that you can go and get from the marketplace and also any custom themes that have been built for you. So in this case, our uh, blend theme here. And when it comes to actually building out your website, if you use a marketplace theme or you choose to go down the route of a custom theme with you know built around your brand for your business like ours is here you should still be powered with different templates that give you different starting points for your pages it might be that i want a new version of our home page it might be that actually i want our service page here or i want a completely blank flexible page here and let's actually start with this one so what this is going to give me here after i select um, this template is a good starting point where I just have a single text box on a page. And as I said before, our approach to creating editing experiences inside of HubSpot revolves around sections in HubSpot. And what these are, are pre-built areas of the website. So if I go add section in here, we can see I've got a visual panel here of pre-built sections that I can just simply click and add into the page. And after I do this, for example, let's add this hero in and I can drag it to the top of the page. Bear with, I'm on my laptop. Um, now we can see that this is already pre-styled. I don't have to mess around with any padding, any viewport widths, anything like that. I don't have to you know, drag and drop these individual sections into place and make sure they're lined up perfectly. This is pre-styled, predetermined but still entirely flexible within it. So I can select this content, I can uh, change out whatever I need to in here, I can show buttons if I need to. If I did wanna add a bit more spacing top and bottom, I can do that myself here. I can change the background in terms of color. I can enable this little bottom line here or not have that. You know, there's still a lot of flexibility you can add within the section itself. But the, the thing that we're doing here is basically ensuring consistency and also speed of editing here because yeah sure we could we could make this so you have to select a background color and get a hex code you have to drag in a rich text module here you have to then drag in an image model here but then you've got to line them up perfectly and this image then might sit in the middle and not right here then you go into a mobile view and it doesn't break quite where you want it to or look how you want it to all we need to do here is add the section you know i might add a new section here of Let's have a look in here, logo slider. And then we've got our customer's logos in there, ready to go straight away. Of course, I can click into this. I can you know, change this little line here. I can add in different logos, but the core of it is that it's very easy to just build these pages quickly and consistency. And this is kind of the entire editing experience like in a nutshell right here, especially in the way that we build with sections. You know. As I work through this page, I can find the section that I need. I can just click add it into the page and then I can go into that section, build it out in whatever way I want to or need to. And that is really just how you build out a page at speed. You know, as I'm going through here, I'm finding exactly what I need and just adding it. And then I can populate this content as I see fit. Of course, any this is a question we get a lot, you know, how do I then get new sections built out for me? And yeah, that will be a case of 
potentially creating those from new, you know, designing them, developing them. But in most cases, you've got a complete suite, a complete library of sections here that are flexible in their own right and when put together, very flexible. So in most cases, you're going to be able to build out exactly what you need for the rest of, you know, your website's life and history. Um, and if you do need something else, then it means that you, you really do need it. Um, and it's worth investing in, you know, how that's presented, the user experience of that, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully this gives you an idea of, you know, this is the page editing experience on HubSpot. And it just shows you really how easy, how flexible it is to create these new pages and edit existing ones. The other approach to editing and creating pages inside of HubSpot you might see taken or might have seen uh, yourself on previous websites is actually a more flexible approach that you would get from you know standard HubSpot themes themselves and whilst they are fine from a flexibility standpoint they do you know lean themselves towards teams, smaller teams, businesses that require lots and lots of flexibility in order to, you know, save a lot of cost ultimately. And whilst, yes, they do give you the flexibility, they do open themselves up to a lot of uh, inconsistencies on the website and a lot of mistakes ultimately uh, that come from the requirement to edit lots of individual components. So if I change theme here and just go to elevate, which is just a standard theme here and if we do the same kind of thing and go with a blank page so what we can see when we jump into this page in this blank template is that whilst we don't have anything we do have sections okay uh, so the approach is similar um, in that we can add sections in here not as many um, you'll see here there's only six uh, but, you know, I can add in this section here, which might do the job as a hero section. But what you'll see now is that all of a sudden I've got options to hover over these and move them wherever I want. And you might think at first that that is actually, you know, brilliant flexibility to be able to, you know, all of a sudden drag this button over here, for example. But as soon as you start playing around with that and you open up, the flexibility to this level, you open yourselves up to inconsistencies. And for a lot of businesses who have multiple people managing the website, contributing to it, building out pages, or if you're just doing that at scale, you don't wanna be having to drag things around or potentially leaving yourself open to other people who will you know, drag these kind of things around and ultimately mess with the inconsistency of your brand and things that just don't look right and that aren't consistent but what you'll see is you know still good flexibility there's nothing wrong with going down this approach if it suits the needs of your business and if you're happy to you know spend a little bit more time on editing each page and making sure everything is consistent so I can drag in this rich text module here if I need to and then we've got that and then I could find an image and see this is where we get into the issues of not having sections that are predetermined. I have to then find the module, make sure it's in the right place here. Um, and then if I wanted to add a background, I'd have to go into the section here, add a background color, and then maybe find the hex code, or we could predetermine some brand colors down there. But then I can add it through that. So what we're still getting here is incredible flexibility, right? If we compare this to some like WordPress sites that I've seen in the past or some custom uh, built websites which are incredibly restricted or you just have a editing panel where you can't actually have any like there's no WYSIWYG editor there's nothing visual to actually uh, latch onto and see what the kind of changes you're making are impacting on the front end um, then like HubSpot is still whatever approach you take to developing on it whatever approach you take to building website pages out is still just incredibly incredibly flexible of course there will be times where websites are completely locked down even on HubSpot for some reasons and that is down to the development approach right we could hard code an entire website on HubSpot still but the point is that that should not happen and if you work with the right people or you know you you select a theme that's being built uh, on the marketplace or a standard theme for you, then you will get an incredible editing experience that is uh, very flexible and can essentially grow with your business. So as your business requirements grow and you need to create new website pages, you need to you know change something, add a new feature, add a new product, you can absolutely do that with HubSpot. It's probably the best 
well, you know what, hands down the best editing experience you know I have ever worked with and have been a, a user of a lot of different CMSs over the years. HubSpot does not disappoint in, in many, many different ways. And let's just, you know, create an, an example of building out the rest of this page. So I might want a heading here and then show some filters underneath, uh, features, sorry, underneath that. And, you know, you get the gist, like, this is still just an incredibly easy editing experience. We've got this repeater model, uh, module in here where I can uh, change the icon, make sure the name is right, everything like that. I can add more on the bottom of this if I need to. So, you know, the experience is just incredibly easy and flexible, and it ultimately puts marketers in control of their own website, which is what we all want and we all need. So there we have it. That is HubSpot's website editing experience in a nutshell. Of course, there's a few different components to consider like blog editing, like you know, editing URL redirects and things like that. But that that's a showcase of the core editing experience within pages themselves, which is ultimately what most people care about um, and most marketers care about. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what to expect if you're thinking of moving your website to HubSpot and how you can actually edit pages with ease, how you can create them with ease. And of course, you know, I showed you our approach at Blend to creating websites uh, inside of HubSpot. If you were interested in, you know, getting a full demo of the experience, then do reach out to us at blendb2b.com or if you want to see the websites that we've created on HubSpot that all contain that editing experience, then yeah, head over to blendb2b.com and you can see that all right there.